Do you prefer to not join up dots from your childhood to explain who and how you are now? Now, if you are one of those people, I think you're probably in the majority. So my question to you is, how is that working for you? If you are always working on yourself as you are now without connecting back to what you lived through and what you experienced as a child, you will not ever really truly be able to create yourself as you wish to be now. And therefore you'll live a very similar life for the rest of your days. Now, how do I even know that? Well, because for many, many years, the way that I have understood everyone I've coached, everyone I've worked with, everyone I meet everywhere I go in life and myself is by understanding how our brain, how our body, how our whole internal systems are shaped by not only what we experience as a child. So for example, if we grew up in a household where you know, we're told off a lot and we're threatened with, if you don't do that, then, you know, they'll, you better look out and there'll be a good smack in a minute if you don't, or whatever it is, or even a milder version of that. It has an impact. If we grow up in a household where our emotions are quickly pushed aside, so, you know, we might, as a child, be really sad or really scared or really frustrated or really excited about something and the adults in our lives they don't they don't want us to have those emotions they find them too much um they trigger them in some way so they they dismiss them don't be silly you're fine stop making such a fuss you know i don't want to see those tears and you know you you better stop behaving like that because blah 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 you better stop <laughs> whatever as if we could just switch it off well actually sadly as a child sometimes we do our system does start doing that for us so we our emotions start shutting down which is very unhealthy because we're meant to have emotions feel them and then they're tended and cared about by somebody caring in our lives and then they just float on their way so the absence of that also has a really big impact on us now, I'm not telling you all this to make you feel miserable or, or um, maybe look at your childhood and think, huh, yeah, actually, a lot of those things did happen to me. So what are you saying, Jane Evans, <laughs> that I'm damaged goods? No, not at all. All I'm saying is that how you are treated early on in life is meant to have a really big impact on you for the rest of your life. It's like digging the foundation of the house. What's put in in the very, very beginning is what your house, you then stands on, grows on, evolves into. So that's why sometimes, well, I would say always, it's very useful to work with someone like myself who can safely, when it feels right, go back, join up a dot, and then know, ha, this is something that's still playing out for you now as an adult. And if they work in the way that I work with your subconscious mind, we can clear out that habitual thinking, which is still playing out for you now, that habit formed belief about yourself, the feelings that you have around it. Um, so often as children, because our emotions aren't very acceptable to other people and um, we learn that oh I'm not acceptable so therefore I, I can't really be good enough can I because if they would just come one come all with whatever emotions and behaviors I bring then I would just experience myself as being a really really acceptable being so when that's still playing out in adulthood that is a very big clue and as I say the great news is that all of this can be changed, upgraded, so that you get to thrive in your life, move forward in your life, free from all these bags of rubbish that you don't need, that you didn't create, all these barriers to fully being you.